Hello, this is Steve Gal with Vex Hybrids, agronomist in southern Indiana. And today I want to talk a little bit about soybeans and making some decisions about fungicide applications and uh, possibly even insecticide applications and some of the diseases we're seeing. So as we stand here in a soybean field, the decision that we want to make is, you know, do we want to use a fungicide? If we do, what growth stage we want to target? So based on our PFR research, we know that we want to target R3, which is beginning pod. So that's where we got a pod a quarter inch long at one of the four uppermost nodes on the main stem with a fully developed leaf. So as you're walking through and you start to pull some plants, you'll see here we're looking at a plant as we go up it to the top nodes, we want to see, okay, a fully developed leaf. So these leaves are still pretty small. As we jump to this one, you'll see it's a much larger leaf. It's more fully developed. So we go down the plant and determine then, all right, here's where our nodes are. So we're looking at our four upper, uppermost nodes. We have flowering here. Oh, getting close to start seeing some pod development. So that's where we're gonna look here. The uh, upper most developed leaf, follow it down and start looking there and the nodes below, as you can see here, there we've got a pod nearly a quarter inch long. So we're near or at the R3 stage, time for a fungicide application. So now how do we make the determination? We look for disease, we look for the weather, uh, row spacing may have a little bit of effect. Here we're in some wide row beans, so a little bit less disease. But look down in the canopy. We can see here there's some brown spots starting to come in, some septoria. Uh, we'll, we're seeing a lot of that with the heat and humidity, even here in these wide rows. Uh, we'll start looking at the top of the leaves, uh, possibly looking for frog eye leaf spot. And frog eye will be just a, a round circle you'll see on some of these uppermost leaves. Uh, here I don't see any, but as we go south, there's a lot more risk of frog eye. And when, if we're spraying targeting frog eye, we want to kind of stay away from the strobularens or have something that has a triazole in it um, to help control that. Uh, we do have some cases in the south of, of some frog guy that could be resistant to strobularens. Then the next decision we wanna also make is we're making this fungicide application. As we look here, we got uh, some Japanese beetle feeding. Um, we wanna make a determination of when to spray. So at the R3 stage, if you, if you look at the Purdue handbook here, 15% uh, defoliation across the plant. So there you can see a 10 versus a 20. Um, you know, we see that easily sometimes in the top leaves from insect feeding, but not necessarily through the whole plant. But we do know we have some PFR proven insecticides too at this stage to take a look at. Also, as you can see in this field, we're still fighting Phytophthora. This is a wet spot, but Phytophthora can continue to infect the plant and cause issues as we have the hot, dry, and wet. So be looking out for that also. So again, R3 is our PFR proven fungicide application time. Uh, if you have some insect pressure, uh, maybe a good time to put in some insecticide. So if you have questions, always contact your Bex representative or myself and we'd be glad to help. Thanks and have a great day.